Hey folks, here we are, Tiny Mountain Houses at the Seattle Home Show. I want to present to you our Castle Peak 25. This model is actually one we've been building. It's just a little bit longer this time. This is 340 square feet. Notice the exterior of this house. It's cedar with the gal balloon accent. So we've done some different things on the outside from the houses we've done in the past. I want to walk you inside. You can take a good look at what we've done inside. This is a single light French door. And you'll notice these are integrated blinds that are between the panes of window. You can actually open and close them. You never have to clean the blinds. And by the way, this is a typical passage door or an entry door for us with a deadbolt and a locking mechanism below on the knob. As we walk inside our house, the first thing you're probably going to notice is the apartment size 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This particular house boasts a two burner propane cooktop, although we can add a 20 inch four burner range. This house actually has 54 inch tall overhead cabinets. These are our standard cabinets. As we walk through the rest of the house, you'll notice the kitchen. These are laminated countertops. Our standard sinks are a top mount, 24 inch residential size sink. And this is actually a pull out faucet. And it slides back in. It's a gooseneck. It's metal. All our faucets are metal. Inside our cabinets, adjustable shelving. Lots of flexibility. Tall things, short things, you basically design it and set them where you'd like. I want you to see the drawer guides. These aren't cheapies. Notice that? Ball bearing, roller guides, full extension. We've custom made this ladder and notice these beautiful step treads. These are once again black walnut, live edge, slab. This walnut this particular species of walnut only grows in the Willamette Valley of Oregon. Now this loft, you know, when I say this, is 9 feet by 8 feet. It's one of the largest lofts we've built to date. Spacious enough for a California king. You can put dressers up here. You've got plenty of storage. And by the way, all our loft heights allow 48 inches of space from the loft to the tip of the ceiling. Let's walk back into the den. Now this is a den in this particular unit, although we call it a flex room because you can do a lot of things with it. Whether you want to make it a closet, you want to make it a dining room, an entertaining room, an office, it's entirely up to you. We offer lots of different configurations of cabinetry or we can leave the cabinets out altogether. Here we are in the Castle Peaks bathroom. This is a standard configuration for this house. You'll notice a residential lavvy. That's a china sink. That's a metal faucet with a glass bead backsplash. All our homes come standard with a mirror above. We've optioned in a medicine cabinet for this particular house. And as you look to the right a little bit, the standard pantry or linen cabinet, six door, residential toilet. There's a window standard in here, of course. And here we see our four foot wide, two seat shower. And this is fiberglass. Perfect for a tiny house. This will last 20, 25 years easily. Once again, metal faucets, and it's an excellent use of space. Here you see our standard entry closet cabinet. This is an open cabinet here. You can hang clothes. We can add additional shelves in here for sweaters if you like, etc., etc. Notice the bottom of this particular cabinet. Three eight-inch cubby holes, and it's a shoe cabinet. Great spot for as you walk in the house, you just slide your things in there, and boom, they're ready for when you leave. In this house, we've opted to put the cinnamon stained alder, matches the cabinets, has a nice contrast to the white beadboard walls. There's an item that I feel is important to note, and that is on all tiny mountain houses, the interiors of our homes are seven feet, seven inches from wall to wall. And what that really means is you have the space to place a chair on one side, a sofa on the other, or you have the ability to do like we've done here in the Castle Peak. All of our cabinets, by the way, are residential size cabinets. And that means we're using all the same components that you would find in a site-built home. This is actually the wheel well. And what we choose to do is maximize the outside width of our house to eight foot six and covering the wheel well up like we've done here. In a lot of cases, we integrate that wheel well into cabinets, like we've done on the kitchen side of it, sofas, furniture, etc., etc. So there's a lot of flexibility 
in our homes to do what best fits you. Contact us and let us know how we can meet your needs. Thank you.